Here is something you don't see every day. Men with chainsaws repelling down the cliff walls around Minnehaha Falls. They were doing what you've probably done in your own yard, fighting the rip out and destroy weeds. This extreme landscaping completes a phase of a much bigger project. Look straight down. There's a man dangling from a rope, using a chainsaw to hack out weedy, woody plants from the cliffs around Minnehaha Falls. He works for Prairie Restorations, a company hired to rid 57 acres along the creek of buckthorn, box elder, and other plants that choke out native species. We're trying to restore diversity and make it a natural plant community. With saws and torches, workers cut out and burn the offensive plants. A lot of these woody plants have shaded out the old ground layer, and now erosion has gotten to be a real issue because we don't have the grasses, especially, um, to hold the soil in place. Removing the weeds should allow native grasses, wildflowers, and oak trees to grow, and birds and insects that rely on them to flourish. It should also stabilize the shoreline. The project is part of a $3 million restoration, led by the Minneapolis Park Board and funded through the state and the Met Council. It began in 2008 and included the rebuilding of bridges over the falls. This is something that we get a lot of visitors to and we feel very strongly is something worth preserving. By tomorrow, all of those weedy plants should be removed and their stumps treated to prevent regrowth. Next, companies will bid for the job of replanting the area with native grasses and wildflowers.